Do you ever find yourself in the spot where you don't know whether you should hold your shares or sell your shares? I find myself there every single day. So let's talk about a very easy way to relieve this problem. Hey, it's ClayTrader at ClayTrader.com. In this video, like I said, I wanna talk about how you can solve the very common problem and the problem that I face every single day is, should I sell my shares or should I hold on to them? I get emails all the time, that very same thing. I don't know really what to do. The, you know, I, I'm, I'm up on the trade, but should I sell or, or should I hang on to? And I have no idea. But like I said, I come across this every day, but it doesn't need to be complicated. The complicating thing that creeps in is right here. What does sell mean? This may seem like very straightforward, but I speak from experience with the emails that I get and the questions. People don't truly understand what sell means. A lot of people go right here. They think sell means everything. So that means if I have 100 shares, that means when I sell, I have to sell 100 shares. If you're an options trader, you know, I have five contracts. So when I sell, that means five contracts. So a lot of people think sell means everything. Other people think that it means that the trade is over. Meaning when you say sell, that implies that the trade is over. Not true, but with that thought process, it can create uh, the overcomplication that just isn't true. And then finally, a lot of people are just, well, it's gotta be all or nothing. Either you're in the trade, you go all in, and then because you go all in, then you gotta get all out. So it's just all or nothing. But none of this is true. This is not what sell means. Very commonplace, but just not true. Because we have a beautiful word out there in the world of trading known as partial. Meaning you can do a partial sell. Now what does this mean for you? How does this help alleviate the situation of do I hold my shares? Do I hold my contracts? Or should I sell them? Well, like I said, I experience this every day. So let's take a look at this right here. And let's just say this is the current price. So current price is at some level. And you're sitting there saying, well, should I sell or should I hold? Well, why not do this? Why not sell half? So if you have, let's say, 100 shares, sell 50 of them right at this level. If you have 1,000 shares, sell 500 right at this level. Now, why would you do that? What are you accomplishing? Well, in its very simplest form, this is risk management. You are actually managing risk. Maybe you've never looked at it that way, but it's a very, very simple way to not only provide a solution to the common problem of should I hold or should I sell, but it's also just good man money management, good risk management. So how does this help? Well, let's just take a look at two things. Let's take a look at kind of two camps. So the price, let's say it heads up, or the price may head down. So let's look at it from the people that are over here saying, you know, all or nothing, all or nothing. All right, well, the price goes up, you know, they're feeling pretty good, right? Okay, that's great, that's great. The price went up, good thing I didn't sell down here. But what happens if it goes down? How are these people feeling over here? They're gonna be suffering from this. I should have regret. Should have what? Well, more than likely they're gonna be saying, I just should have sold, I just should have sold. And they're gonna be angry at themselves. They're just gonna be very, very upset. I should have sold up when the price, when I had the chance up there. Well, what about the people that are gonna stick with the partial sell? What happens if they sold half up here and then the price comes back down? You know, they're gonna still have some pain, so there's no doubt about that, but their pain is gonna be relieved. So pain relieved. Meaning, yeah, they're still technically, you know, losing some money on, you know, what they could have had up there, but at least they sold half. So that is certainly going to relieve the pain that these people are certainly suffering. There is no regret over here because, hey, you know what? At least you sold a half of your position up here. Now, what about this side of things for the disciplined people? Well, you know what? If it goes up here, these people are going to be very excited. Meaning if you did a partial sell, hey, you know what? Not only... Sure, you kind of left some on the table because you, you sold some at a lower price, but at least you can still participate. And this is, you know, a, a, a very simple but very 
uh, you know, important word in terms of the market. You want to make sure that you can participate in upwards movements, but you want to manage that downside risk. You want to manage, well, what happens if, you know, what happens if this really is the top? What happens if this price is done going up? That's why selling half, it really accomplishes so many things. It covers the basis in case the price uh, goes back down. Then you can say, hey, look, I sold the top. I didn't sell everything, but at least I took some profits at the top. But if you're wrong and it's not the top, and here's, you know, here's the FYI, you're never going to know whether or not it's truly the top. But if you're wrong and it's not the top and it still goes up, but hey, look, I can still participate. Whereas these people, let's say they, they decide, you know what? The people that just think everything, all or nothing, they're like, you know what? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to sell everything right here. And then the move happens to go up here. Talk about just, we'll call it the hair pulling out. I mean, the ultimate frustration. I know I've been there before, you know, before I kind of learned this basic concept where you know, I, I think I'm just going to get all out. I want out. The trade's over. I'm going to sell at the current price. And then all of a sudden, you see this happen. It keeps on going and going and going. And had you just only sold half, you would still have half and what? You would be able to participate still. So selling half, that's what I always tell people in emails. You know, I have no idea if your stock, I have no idea if your option is going to go up in price. But don't worry, I, I face this problem every day and whenever I am at this situation, I'm at this crossroads, I just sell half. It doesn't have to be half, maybe you wanna do a third. Maybe you wanna do a fourth. Maybe you wanna do three fourths. I don't know, the point is, by taking some profits off the table, when you meet the crossroads of, I don't know what I should do. Do I need to hold or do I need to sell? You don't need to sell. You can sell, but you don't need to sell everything. It doesn't mean the trade's over. It's not an all or nothing type deal. Partial, keep that in mind. Sell partial of your shares or partial of your contracts. Lock in some management so you can protect your downside, but also don't find yourself you know, pulling out your hair. Leave yourself an opportunity to still participate if the price goes up. So keep that in mind as you're going forward when you approach those situations that more than likely probably happen every day, right? I mean, I, I, I'm always facing that, should I sold or should I hold or should I sell? Should I hold or should I sell? Well, that's why it's all about money management and you can ease out of the position. You can just sell partial lots of whatever you are holding. So keep that in mind going forward. If you found this video helpful, if found this concept helpful, please click the like button if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're watching this on my site, claytrader.com, click one of those share buttons. Uh, little clicks like that go a long way. And then of course, leave comments. Uh, I do my best to resp uh, reply to everything and interact. So be sure to do that and uh, give me your feedback on this concept or just kind of, you know, whatever else is on your mind. So thank you for watching. Get out there, trade without emotion. And remember, you don't have to sell everything. You don't have to sell. It's not all or nothing. You can do partials. So learn to love the word partial because partials allow you to participate. Have a good one. Trade without emotion.